I'm Jody Callahan. I'm the College of the Washita's Division Chair for Applied Sciences and I'm also the Director of the 3D Printing Farm. My wife saw the impact that it could make in her classroom. She's the gifted and talented and East teacher at Balvern Elementary School. And she was immediately able to begin to infuse uh, 3D printing and CAD drawing with her third and fourth grade GT children at the elementary school. We thought this was something that was going to take much longer than it did. Within two weeks of our conversation, uh, she would called one day during class and, and told me that she was ready to print. And the thought was that we would collect uh, several students' works and then when we did our grand opening, we would have them all come over and, and print their 3D prints as a field trip. I was a little bit concerned that it, it had only taken about two weeks for the children to get that far. And so I told my wife, why don't you email me the, the, the file over and let me test print it just to make sure that we're not hurting someone's feelings or something if the print fails. Within about two hours, I realized that we had a print that was going to be perfect. I wasn't really sure what it was because the print file was sent upside down. Pulled the print off the print bed and turned it upside or right side up and realized that it was a, a basketball goal that had been designed by a young child in the, in the third or fourth grade at the elementary school. And I was so excited that the child that actually built the, the goal post and the backboard and it recessed a ring in it for the hoop. And so I grabbed one of my fellow teachers and said, hey, you've got to cover my class. I've got to run over to the elementary school and, and, and show this to them. And I can't believe that we've, we've actually gotten this print to work. As I ran over to the elementary school, I, I happened to be there at the same time that the young man who printed the print was there. My wife introduced me to him and he really didn't understand who I was and it wasn't that big a deal. And then she reintroduced me to him and said, he's my husband, the, the guy with the 3D printers. And he turned around and he offered me his hand and he was shaking, just trembling. And I noticed that his hands were dirty and his clothes were tattered. He was in a short sleeve shirt. It was a particularly cold day uh, in Arkansas that day. And he looked up at me with the biggest puppy dog eyes you could ever see. And I knelt down and I handed him his print and he coddled it like a, like a puppy. And he said to me, I can't believe I'm holding my thought. And at this point in time, I nearly burst into tears myself. Uh, and, and I think at that moment, both my wife and I really knew just the power of, of bringing the 3D printing technology into the classroom. Uh, since then, that young man has, has been a, a super student. Uh, he's been very engaged in the classroom, working on uh, different uh, uh, open source CAD programs to improve his design and help other students improve their 3D printed designs. And it's, it's really connected him to learning. And I think it's made him a lifelong learner.